this woman got up on the stage, knows she's dressed in, she's not just in fancy designer clothes. She's a very unpresuming person. She got up on the stage and in 18 minutes stuck her thumb into the eye of the diabetes establishment. <laughs> if you read that there, her title of her talk, <laughs> Reversing Type 2 Diabetes Starts with Ignoring the Guidelines. Now, if she'd been an academic, that talk would have guaranteed, would be a career-ending move. She would never get another grant from any, yeah, it, it's, that took incredible courage to get up there and do that. And if you haven't seen it, go look at it. You might be, if you're quick, you might get in before the, the 10 millionth person watches this. This has been a tremendous pivotal change. That one TED talk, that 18 minutes, was a tremendous pivotal change in, as I see it, in, in how we regard, we in the medical profession regard diabetes and begin to think of it as a reversible disease. The normal duration of, you know, the survival of someone with her disease, the extent of her disease, is typically about eight months. And she persisted for over four years, went through multiple therapies. We had times where we were, the research team was doing Zoom calls, and Dr. Hallberg was doing Zoom call on her phone while she's in the infusion chair getting chemo. That was the, the commitment. Uh, it was just a, an incredible experience made an incredible gift to what we wish to do, which is change, turn diabetes around and have it be an uncommon disease. And when it does show up, we reverse it. So I, I wanted to start with this slide because when people talk about inflammation, they'll say, oh, and we measured this and that. And typically, the most common thing people measure is C-reactive protein, which is the, the little yellow highlight partway down the slide. Um, the most generic version of our way to measure inflammation is measure total white blood cell count. Uh, and those have been two of the most common things measured. But that whole alphabet soup there that you see um, is only a partial list of the various biomarkers, but also mediators of inflammation. Um, and you look at that and say, oh, gosh, you know. Pretty much every one of those has 20, 10, 20, 30 researchers who focus on that. The problem is this is a broad panoply. This is like, you know, people who study one thing is like people who study one key on an organ. Whereas we're talking about an organ with many keys here. And the mu music sounds very different when you deal with many keys than if you deal with one. Uh, one of the interesting things in there, I've, I've highlighted here, you've, people have mentioned leptin. Leptin was a hormone that was discovered in 1994. Um, and it is a adipokine hormone that's made in adipose tissue. It circulates through the blood and has specific receptors in the hypothalamus. And it tells the hypothalamus, I mean, the simplistic concept of it is it tells the hypothalamus that uh, how much fat is stored in the body fat stores. The more fat stores you have, the more leptin you make, theoretically. And that t sends a stronger signal to the brain, which reduces appetite. So it's a satiety hormone. It's also an inflammatory mediator. And if you infuse leptin into people, their inf their, uh, the other inflammation, some of the inf other inflammation biomarkers go up. In people who are inflamed, le leptin is up, either primarily or secondarily. Um, so it's not just a, 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 uh, a satiety hormone. It has multiple functions throughout the body. Uh, so this is what makes it complex. So why is this important to us when we're thinking about chronic disease? And uh, from the perspective of diabetes, about uh, 10, 11 years ago, there was this paper, the top one listed there, type 2 diabetes is an inflammatory disease. Was, well, this paper was published by a couple uh, very courageous uh, researchers in Switzerland. And I say courageous because this was a completely unknown concept. Uh, in terms of diabetes, we, you know, people say, oh, diabetes, type 2 diabetes is insulin resistance, or some people believe it's fat in the pancreas. Um, and they published this, and it was met with a lot of skepticism. But the bottom reference there by Jerry Olefsky's group, Dr. Gerald Olefsky's group at University of California, published in 2019, 17, I'm sorry. You know, where he doesn't say diabetes, he says metabolic disease, but in this he says basically that it appears that the root cause, the earliest signs of incipient diabetes can be found in inflammation, that it appears to be inflammatory disease with insulin resistance and, body and, and fat deposition secondary characteristics. So it's getting very much closer to the underlying factors that, that differentiate a person with who's going to have developed diabetes versus one who's not.